take us now? There's a lot going on that I've seen in other games, but not quite as stylized and not quite as hip. But the music, it has the right mix, whatever it is, like all the variables make out this like pretty sick and sexy equation. My name is Levon Lewis. I am the audio director for WET. For the music, I brought in uh, Brian Labarton, who is the keyboardist and music director for Beck. I wanted music that could scare the out of you, make you feel like you're in the game. Music that would put you on edge, music that would sort of just freak your brain out. Brian's head was just tuned to the right space for this title. Face melting, musical debauchery. We wanted to explore edgy ideas. We wanted to be experimental with the art style, experimental with the sound and music signature for the game. I was very aware that I wanted it to have a sort of unhinged, about to fall apart sound to it. And I think the game has that feeling too. We have this great, unique, original music score that uh, was recorded raw and live in the studio with killer musicians from a lot of known bands. Are you ready to rock, BJ? I knew how the music needed to be able to fit in with the grindhouse feel. I was told Mr. Atkins was sending a woman. Had the cash. I threw in some hip hop, sort of dusty beats for good measure. A lot of old cowboy music, you know, inspired by Sergio Leone movies. We had an incredible time in the studio. We had legendary musicians like James Gadson. You know, Ziggy Marley walked into the studio at one point. Like, hey, this sounds cool. It's a real lonely kind of stuck in the desert with no water and a really pissed off sort of sound. If that's a genre, or if it's not a genre, that's, I just created that genre. I love the, the sort of 70s soundtrack. It has a different feel to it. I think there's something really sexy about that. It just sounds and feels retro cool to me and it has that Quentin Tarantino sort of feel to it and it's unbelievably modern and hip and today. Yeah. To me the game is like is, is a fresh new take on the the old school action genre. You got some guns, you got some bad guys, you're gonna kill them. But you're gonna kill them in a way that you've never done before. This game is a 70s retro movie theater experience. It felt that it would bring the third person shooter genre up a notch. Badass. It's gritty and it's tension and it's overall a revenge story about a person who does not want to be double crossed. Go out and get ready to just kick some ass. That's what the game is. I'm really proud of it. I'm just excited for people to get ahead of it.